Guru Nanak gets into what I would say his own vichar here. Think of it this way. Guru Nanak now has summarized not only this party, but the two parties before. And now he's starting to, to reflect on, on these thoughts that he's already put forward. Jin e lik e tis siranai. So that, that, that being or that source jinne is to say, it's like saying this one and that one, okay? So jinne like that one or that which causes to be written. Like is, is a form of the word written. So whatever the source of that cause of being written, which we could say is God, you know, in a, in, in a, in a simplest of contexts, but it's also, it's also us. We have played a part in whatever that writing was. So, but in this case here, we're saying whatever, whoever is causing that to be written, tisa siranai. So Guru Nanak is, is, is saying that one has nothing on their head. So there is an existence, there is a presence that does not have this, this beyond this connection of, of words that we speak. It doesn't have any destiny. It doesn't have any karma that it's carrying from lifetime to lifetime. It's just purely pure. It's void of, of any, any karma, any data, any, any references or sources. So if you want to think of it in the context of the Godhead, God, who is at some level the source of all of this that we've described up to now, God does, is not identified, has nothing of a destiny written. He's separate from that. Jine like tisirinai, jiv furamai, tiv tiv pai. So Gurnanik's going further and saying, whatever, jiv furamai, and this also is a word from the Arabic and Persian, furamai, and Guru Gobind Singh uses this, and it's, it's a command. It says similar to the word we use, hukum. So that, that one who, who gives the furamai, the order, the command, tiv tiv pai, that, that is what comes to pass. Whatever that order is, that comes to pass. Mm -hmm.